Evening everyone, Mad Dog EDC coming out here with another video. I want to talk to you about my Vito Pro Pack. This is the Tool Pack or TP 4B. I've had this bag since really not long after I got started um, on in my own uh, business and irrigation repair. Uh, this is the bag that sits in my toolbox. I get ready to go in to uh, look at a controller to do. Uh, you know, this is the bag I grab immediately out of the truck. I don't really know exactly how much it weighs. It's not too bad, but it's got um, pretty much all my essential tools in it that I'll need to diagnose, figure out what's going on. Now, take care of a little bit of business beforehand. There's a discrepancy <clears throat> in this bag. If you look at the thumbnail for this video, that's here, <clears throat> something's different about the presentation here versus what's in the thumbnail. If you go to the Facebook group, Mad Dog EDC on Facebook, I'll drop the link in the description. If you go to the Facebook group, if you're not a member, join it. Tell me what is different about this bag, the way it sits right now versus what's in the thumbnail, and give me your address. The first person to get it right gets their own Mad Dog EDC patch. I've got my coffee here with me. This is a uh, hmm. Brook City Blend by uh, Sweetheart Coffee. It's a local shop here in uh, Prattville. And my, of course, my Milwaukee pack out cup. So let's get to it. What do we got in this bag? How do I carry it? First off, these uh, tool pouches on the sides right here. This is, these are made by Greenlee. Greenlee, Tempo Communications, they all kind of keep going back and forth between each other, but this is my Station Master. It's basically a very fancy um, ohm meter, is what I'm trying to say. You know, I can hook this up to a controller, to the common wire, and then to a zone wire. Don't tell me if there's a short, if it's good, or if it's open, or if I'm getting 24 volt out of the controller. Same thing, go over to a solenoid, I can tell if I'm getting 24 um, volts from the controller. I can tell if the solenoid is good or the solenoid is bad. I can also sit, uh, hook up at the controller, um, common, to my zone wire, and I can send a, a tone down the wire, and I can test to see you know, which wire uh, I'm looking at out in the field. Very, very, very handy to have for irrigation repair. This over here is essentially the same thing. I've got a toner, but then um, wires are kind of... All this does, it just sends a tone down the line. Um, so if I'm out in the field working on wiring or something, I go to the controller, hook this up, bam, I've got my uh, toner here. I can go out in the field, I can test, I can see, okay, yeah, this. if I get a bank of valves, I'm not sure exactly which one is zone three in this valve box, hook this up to zone three, go out there, beep, 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 beep. okay, yeah, that one right there. And then I can use this out in the field to tell me whether that solenoid is good, bad, or whether I have a wiring issue or something like that. So just uh, really nice to have right off the bat. Um, so I, I wanted to go ahead and get those out of the way so I can take these bags off. And then we just have our pouch right here. It's got a really good handle. Um, this is, you can slide a belt through here if you wanted to have it on a belt. And this kind of sits in there really strong, got good over mold, good grips to it, good clips. On the back is a belt clip or, or a, a, a hook where you can hang it on things. So it makes it really handy. Good leather canvas construction. Um, the Velcro is good and solid. The loops are, are perfect for what's here. These are the uh, big Milwaukee screwdrivers. I don't even really know what the number is on them or anything like that, but it's flathead and Phillips head. They got a good impact surface on the back of them. Um, they are somewhat insulated too, so good big pair of screwdrivers. This is just a regular old Craftsman flathead. You know, a little bit smaller than that one there. This is your uh, basically a seven in one from uh, Harbor Freight, one of those free screwdrivers, but you know, it works in a pinch to have different sizes of, uh, oh, I can't get it to go back together. Works in a pinch to have different sizes of flats and Phillips. 
This is a time saver right here. Let me tell you, this is the Milwaukee Ratching Screwdriver. Obviously different ways there. Um, you got different bits that just slide into the back of it. Right, right, kind of like a uh, six shot revolver, if you will. All you do when you need one is you just slide it out the back, right in. The good thing about that is they are slotted and you can put them into an impact and use it uh, as a screwdriver like that in the impact. These are just some drill bits I have, some masonry bits, um, hanging a controller uh, for putting my um, uh, drywall anchors into a drywall or going or into a brick facade outside there and I have some longer bits for going through walls but my wire going through the walls getting down into a valve box having to unscrew the top of the valve having a long 12 inch extension is handy but I don't need anything that big I have this six inch Phillips head uh, on the side right here Sharpie is important for when I'm using a slip fix or when I'm measuring pipe slip fix Go ahead and extend that sucker all the way out put a mark around it Make sure I know that when I put it in when I extend it out and lock that thing in glue it in I know it's at full extension and it's not going to leak on me If ever I have to use one of the knock-on style couplings It's always good to chamfer the edge uh, of the uh, pipe down so the seals fit over it nice and easy I've got just a uh, two-sided file there and a little bit smaller one as well. This is a Rainbird hold-up tool. Um, the spring, they spring closed. And whenever I'm do, working on a nozzle or something like that, I've got a head popped up. I can slide that over it, clamp it down, let go of it. It's not going to shoot back down into the base of the sprinkler. That is really handy to have. This is the Knipex um, 150s. Connect X Cobra 150s. These are um, Knipex, um, just uh, regular cable cutters, basically. These are the 160s. I don't remember exactly what these are, but they're a fantastic wire cutter. Knipex um, 160 combination pliers, mini Kleins, got the side cutters on it. Empty this out real quick. This is just a El Cheapo pocket screwdriver off of Amazon. A uh, pair of pipe cutters um, from Landscape Products. Everyone's usually I use my Milwaukee pipe shears, but this is just uh, nice to have on hand for something quick or if I'm cutting funny pipe or something like that. So, and then I have these Milwaukee uh, strippers. These are you've got your. Uh, 10 gauge up to 20 gauge on your stranded wire and then 8 gauge to 18 gauge on your solids. Now I don't have to uh, cut, cut off studs or anything like that but it's got the 8 32nd and the 6 32nd uh, bolt cutters on there. It's got a crimp on the back and these wire cutters right here are awesome. They are sharp and they do an excellent job of cutting through um, my, just your standard uh, 3, 5, 7, 9 um, strand nine pair of wire and then these wide tips on here uh, they're you know, a little wider even than these Knipex 160s not quite as wide as a good pair of Kleins that would be about that size but they are perfect for grabbing onto and really cranking down on that wire so excellent pair of wire strippers right there um, highly recommend those Milwaukee's got a spare Leatherman right here. This is the Toco Designs Skeletal. I call it the clown tool. This is the uh, Joker to King Surge All right inside this little pocket right here. I have a small miniature uh, I believe this is Matco. Yeah, this is Matco 4 inch uh, shifter wrench This is just a assorted little tub of Milwaukee bits. It's got star bits square bits flatheads um, Phillip heads in there. Uh, another um, three inch Phillips head extension. And then this is just another little bit smaller Phillips head in case it's needed. A couple fuses for older controllers. This is a Weeha bit set. You got your extender there. And then you just pull that there and they flip out. And you've got 
couple sizes of bits in that. I just keep that handy. A uh, scrunch. This is for my Milwaukee Edger. Go on my battery operated tool. And yeah, I thought I saw something else down there. Didn't think there was, but that's it. Now, I do have something rolling around on the bottom of that there. Falling in. Let's see what we got. Just put that all over the table. Hmm. Okay, so these are, um, this is a half inch bit extension um, to go in the uh, impact, and this is a quarter inch. I forgot that I just dumped those down in there. You can put these down in this pouch here, or they're a little easier to get to if I need them. Okay. Uh, as far as the pack goes, you can see it stands up by itself, even fully loaded with all the tools. It's going to stand up by itself. It's got this uh, hard plastic on the bottom of it. So it has that good stable platform, but also that is uh, waterproof. So you can set it down on wet grass, things like that. It's not going to leach up through the bottom of the bag. I have uh, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed having this. Um, I've been watching a lot of Vito videos on YouTube here recently. Um, kind of considering maybe moving to something a little bit bigger, but then definitely looking at that backpack they just came out, their EDC line that they just came out with. So really, really looking forward to checking that out. Um, so I've been looking at a bunch of things. Oh, on this here, you can uh, put a full-size tape measure. You can clip your tape measure on that right there on the outside. But uh, it served me well. It, um... You know, the con I bought it used off of eBay, and the condition it's in right now is pretty much the condition that I've got it in. Um, they hold up extremely well. Uh, I, I'd, I'd, I'd put them up there with like a Maxpedition or something like that, probably even tougher than a Maxpedition. Um, really, these bags right here, as far as toughness goes, really what Maxpedition wishes they could be. But they're a good, strong bag. Good, strong. I've really enjoyed having it. It's really served me well. Um, so yeah, I've been looking at Vito on uh, YouTube here recently and I thought, why don't I just go ahead and show off my tool bag. This is, when I get out of a truck, first thing on a job, I greet the customer, talk to them, I go to the truck, I grab my tool bag, and I get to work. This is what I'm going to grab nine times out of ten. Um, it's got everything in it. Now I can, I'll, I'll uh, Usually grab one of my little Milwaukee bags that came with the tool set, um, came with some of the battery operated tools. I usually grab one of those and uh, throw some batteries through my battery operated tool that I'm going to be using in there. But as far as my hand tools and such, this Vito Pro Pack uh, tool, pa uh, tool pouch TP4B has been it for me. Remember guys, at the very beginning of the video, go back if you need to. Check it out. See if you can find the difference between how this bag was loaded out and what it is out there um, and what it is up on the uh, thumbnail. And uh, you can get you a Mad Dog EDC pouch, uh, patch for free. A couple little house uh, clearing things, house cleaning things here. Um, guys, we're coming up on 1,000 swiftly. Swiftly coming up on 1,000. We're about 966, 967 now is the time of this video. Um, I have the Tesseract Tactical NF1 in route to me right now, ready for the 1,000 member giveaway. As soon as the YouTube channel reaches 1,000, over on the Facebook group, we'll be giving away that Tesseract Tactical NF1. You're gonna have to uh, you're gonna have to participate in a game or two to be able to get a slot. But um, we'll figure that out as it, as it goes. Um, and then when the Facebook group goes up, up to 1,000, buddy, we've got all kinds of different brands. We've got Gerber. We've got some Leatherman. We've got a Hogue Micro Incursion out the front knife. We've got uh, some Maxpedition pouches that are going to be given away. Uh, probably some more Spikes EDC. I may throw another beer kit in there from Live Bearded. Um, I've got uh, Vital Carry has promised that they're going to throw some tools in there, or at least one prize. Uh, just got um, Razorback Edges and uh, 
Eric Stanbury, I can't remember what his business is called right now, but both of those guys, Scott Terry and, and Eric Stanbury, have both agreed that if you ship your, uh, the, I'll give a winning sharpening and tuning package from each one of those guys. So one, one winner will go to Scott, one winner will go to Eric. I will pay for all the services. You are responsible for shipping to and from, but um, I'll pay for the services while they're there in their hands. Guys, they can sharpen a knife. I've had uh, knives from both of those guys. I've had knives that are tuned with both of those guys. Let me tell you, they can sharpen some blades. So you're gonna be really happy with that. Um, get your knives out, out there to them, get them sharpened up, and uh, see what the difference is. Now, this, you may have seen the short that I put up earlier. This is my uh, new uh, Demco AD uh, 20.5 in 3V with some Micarta Scales deep carry pocket clip there. Um, this is my first Demco that I've had, and whew, I'm loving that shark loss right there. The thing is nice. So I'll be putting a couple, a couple more videos of this here as we go along, but um, stay tuned because this is not the first tool uh, review um, that I'm going to do for the channel. Um, as soon as I get through this irrigation installation that I'm working on and I get all my packs back together and, pack, and back in the truck, get everything organized off of that, I'm going to do a video on my Milwaukee pack out setup and uh, pretty soon the engine build is going to happen on the 2005 6.0 power stroke. So stay tuned for those things because as soon as we get that truck up and running, there'll be some more pack out stuff. I've got that deck system that's going to go in there. We're going to do some vehicle EDC and organization as well in that. So um, y'all head over to the Facebook group. Join the conversations that are going on there. Like and subscribe to the video if you hung on this long. I do appreciate it. Appreciate each and every one of your support. Y'all have a good night. Mad Dog out.